Hello everyone and welcome back to another exciting episode of Jator Plays, episode 20 of Vampire. And in the last episode, I reported back to Dr. Swansea and I saw the leader of uh, Prewin. And he was a jerk. And I didn't like it. And, uh, yeah. So, I think there's a few things we gotta do here. I thought anyway. Maybe not. I am. I feel like recycling these things, but I don't know. I think I might just sell them. So let's do that. Shoop. He's over here, right? Yeah, we'll pay this guy a, a visit. Wait, don't go in there yet. No. I'm sorry you ended up. It's locked, all right. I understand mm. you must be very angry about this unfair situation. Being as grave as your wife, I hope that might help. While he's doing that, I'm gonna take a look around. Are there more people hurt? Nah. Oh, let's go up into what's her face's room. Yeah. Where was that anyway? The pain. Ah, it was here. Oh, there's blood. What on earth happened here? Ooh. Wait. Why is that open? Wasn't there a thing that was locked? I think so. So I got dragged out. One out there. You are going to okay. Hmm. Let's go back out here. Let's see if we can't talk to this guy now. Ah. Sir? Good evening, Dr. Reed. I have something to sell. Oh, actually. Something new? No. Can you tell me anything about recent events in the hospital? Oh, goodness me. This whole story is such a shame, sir. I have no idea how it happened. What are you talking about? Poor, poor Miss Jones. Her body is missing. Someone stole it. Body's missing. Miss Jones's body has gone missing. Yes. The <laughs> body was brought here this morning. And now it's gone. Oh man, who could have done this? Who could have stolen a corpse? That's exactly what I asked myself for the whole day. Who could do such a thing? These are terrible and shameful times, Dr. Reed. Hmm. Let's trade. Please show me what you have. Of course. Just trinkets. You got one trinket there. The rest of it are interesting things that I can buy. Um, I want to keep all that. I want to keep the the serums. Good resale value. I'll sell it. Average resale value. Sell it. Uh, I need to keep that. Sell these. Sell the bottle. Sell that. Sell that. Now I got 628. Nice. I had a lot of stuff, actually. <clears throat> I had an itch. My bad. Alright, so let's go back. Let's continue following that blood trail. Ooh. So many deaths. I can mesmerize him. Has lost its effect. 
effect on me. Yeah. But the suffering continues. Hey, buddy. Good evening, Mr. Elf. Evening. Goodbye. Yeah, for now. but I can't get them all. There's only a level two. I could get her, but I don't know. How you doing? Good evening, Nurse Brannigan. Good evening, Doctor. <laughs> about the recent events. What can you tell me about the <laughs> recent events in the hospital? That Mr. Hampton killed Miss Jones in her room, then ran away. And did you see all this? No. I was working by the tents when it all happened. I only entered the room when they asked me to clean up the blood. Where is her body? Where is Miss Jones's body? I don't know. I'd imagine the morgue. It all happened so quickly. Sean Hampton left the hospital? Did you see Sean Hampton leave the hospital? I think I saw a silhouette exiting the hospital gates after the shouting started. At first I thought it was someone who was just scared, but well, maybe it was him. <clears throat> Goodbye, nurse. I don't buy it. I really don't buy it. Do you see anything, Good vampire? Evening, Miss How are you tonight? I need blood, doctor. Warm, rich, vibrant blood. <laughs> about recent events. Is there anything you can tell me about the recent commotion here? Many things can happen under cover of night, Dr. Reed. But I took no part in this massacre. But did you see or hear anything? I can't say I did. But the smell of fresh blood almost made me faint, Doctor. <laughs> She's too easy. I'm not gonna mesmerize her. I'll leave you, Miss. Besides, I gotta keep the I gotta keep the hospital fine, you know. I don't want to disappoint Swansea. Oh, what about her? Ah, you found it too, eh? Hey, wait a minute. What's what's underneath this? Is that a, what is that? Hmm. Oh, Jonathan, I cannot believe my eyes. Poor woman, butchered by some savage scowl. Can we share this meal? No, I'm partially responsible. Yes, and I'm afraid I'm at least partially responsible. The man, the scowl. I brought him here. Jonathan, how could you say such a thing? Forgive me if I feel despondent. For there seems to be no end to the suffering and death that surrounds us. I'm always here for you, Jonathan. Have you killed this woman? <laughs> what do you know of Ascalon? What do you know of Ascalon? I was threatened by a creature, a vampire in Whitechapel. Stating I had to obey the law of conduct. What more can you tell me about him? He was huge. He was bigger than a man. Huge, in fact. He seemed to radiate violence. I thought he was going to tear me apart. Then he vanished. Fergal, the executioner of Ascalon. You were fortunate he was not after you, but rather out doing his master's bidding. What is Ascalon? What is Ascalon? The Ascalon Club are the most powerful vampires it's a in club. Britain and exert tremendous influence. Take my advice and stay well away. A vampire club, eh? Difficulty with holy symbols. I have experienced a certain difficulty when faced with holy symbols or trying to enter religious buildings. Have you? Now that's quite a question. I don't know why, but yes, it has happened to me. <clears throat> Is it God's will? Is this a sign? The hand of God in action? Are we repellent unto heaven? I don't have the answers, Jonathan. But I believe superstition and magic is just fact awaiting the lens of science. Aren't you frightened? Aren't you frightened? Very little scares me, my dear. To be compelled to avoid symbols of faith does not concern me. Hmm. Have you killed this woman? Have you embraced this woman like the other patient, this Mr. Renfield? 
Her name was Amelia. And no, I did not kill her. I vowed a very long time ago that I would never take another life unless they ask. Oh. Blood quality of the sick? Is there sufficient vitality in the blood of the sick and dying patients? Yes, Jonathan. The hunger gnaws at me every waking hour. Frankly, I'm starving. So am I. I haven't used it at all. I haven't really braced anyone. Rich blood is appealing. Temptation surrounds us. Rich, <clears throat> vital. How can you resist? Over the years, any pleasure I once gleaned from feeding is long gone. I drink for sustenance. And though I still thirst for more, I restrain myself. I see. Thank you, my lady. I hope to see you again soon. Well, that's all well and good, I guess. You're fatigued. Good evening, Nurse Brown. I think I'll help her. Do you require medical? I will be fine. Give medicine. Nurse, you won't be able to help people if you're sick. Take this and do try to get some rest. I'll try, Dr. Reed. Thank you. You're welcome. Goodbye, nurse. Call me if you need assistance. Hmm. What's that? Oh. I forgot how to do that. How am I supposed to be investigating him? Isn't there a button I gotta press? Do I have to follow him? How do I investigate his actions? I am not responsible for you being bad at it. Get over it now. Oh, yeah. 
That's right. Sometimes you act like a real jerk, you know that? Oh, come on, Ozzy, don't be like that. What, like what? Like someone who felt betrayed by the man he loves. Ooh. Did you ever even try to find me? Rescue me? You know, it's not like that. I wanted to. I was so afraid to leave the hospital. Not to be seen with you. But we survived this shit together. That's all that matters. I know you did your best. Interesting. Fuck the war, right? And, and fuck them all. Fuck the war. Fuck them all. <laughs> doop, 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 doop. I'm understand that you still care for this bloody tidbit. For God's sake. It's locked. Can't you be satisfied with that? Hmm. Are they gonna come out? There they are. Can I go in? Oh, I can't go in. Can I go in now? No. It's locked, all right. Well, I'll talk to this guy first. <laughs> Hello again, Mr. Thatcher. Do you feel any better now? Yes. This neighborhood may stink of dog shit and reek of piss, but to me it smells like the purest mountain air. <laughs> do you have a job? Mr. Thatcher, do you have a job? No. Since I came back from the war, I spent most of my time and energy just trying to forget. I understand what you mean. I was a soldier too. No. Nobody can truly understand what I've gone through. Hmm. Why were you locked in that sewer? What happened? I went by the canal after an argument with a friend. Got chased by these fucking wankers and had to barricade myself in, despite my claustrophobia. What was the argument about? Why did you run? What was the reason for your argument? Newton wanted me to go to a hospital, but I can't stand being closed in. It makes me feel like I'm suffocating. Claustrophobia? Tell me about your claustrophobia. Has anyone given you an official diagnosis? <sighs> That's what the bloody doctors said. But I don't want to go to a hospital to get checked again. I'll deal with it my own way. Hmm. Why not go to a hospital? Oswald, why did you not go to the Pembroke Hospital to seek medical help? I don't trust doctors. All they care about is their careers and processes. I won't be locked in any room again by anyone. Your fear of being trapped is not going to go away by itself. You need professional help. I've seen enough butchers in white coats to last a lifetime. Hospitals reek of chemicals and death. What I need is fresh air. Hmm. Well, personal questions. Your fear of being enclosed. Do you want to talk about why you have this fear of being enclosed, Mr. Thatcher? No, I really don't. An irrational fear like yours is usually rooted in a specific event. Perhaps it would help to talk about it. Well, Doctor, take a guess then, if you're so interested in my case. Oh. Oh my gosh. You got buried. <laughs> when I rescued you, you expressed joy at seeing the sky again. So I'm inclined to believe you were trapped or buried somehow. Maybe during a shelling. Jeez, you're good, Doc. Oh! You're really good. Go on, please. Tell me more about it. Newton and I were trapped in a circulation tunnel after an artillery attack. We were buried alive for several days without ever knowing if we'd be found. Ah. What happened when you were buried? Oswald, tell me about what happened when you were buried in that tunnel with Newton. It was more than dark. It was black as pitch. Hours seemed like days, and days like months. Oh, the terror, the shameful thoughts. Lord have mercy. What you endured was terrifying. What you endured was terrifying. It would have completely destroyed weaker men. It did not destroy Newton. 
Shameful thoughts? Shameful thoughts. Tell me about them. At some point, I don't remember which day, but when I thought we'd never be rescued, that this would be our end, I thought, I thought about, I thought about... <laughs> say it, Mr. Thatcher. If you ever want to heal, you have to say it. I thought about what I could do to survive, just for a few Ooh. more days. I thought about killing Newton. Killing and eating him. The man I fucking love. Your feelings for Newton? Tell me about your true feelings for Newton. I love him. I'm not ashamed to say it. He's the best thing that ever happened to me. I can't imagine life without him. Why should you be ashamed? Why should you be ashamed? I'm not, I said. But Newton sees it differently. I admire your honesty. I admire your honesty. It takes courage to stand up to society. The world needs people like you to create change. Courage is what we needed in the trenches, looking death in the face every day. I speak plain. I speak my mind. Have you always been this straightforward? All I know is, before you saved me by the sewer, my only regret was I wouldn't be able to hold or kiss Newton again. I love him, that's all. <laughs> It's a real yawn, by the way. <laughs> Goodbye, Mr. Thatcher. Try to take care of yourself. All right, next guy. We'll go to his leather. Hello again, Mr. Blight. I'm happy to see Mr. Thatcher is safe for now. I'm eternally grateful, Doctor. We were total strangers and you helped us anyway. Can't thank you enough, sir. Your life in London. Why do you stay here? Why do you stay here now that Mr. Thatcher's back? It's complicated. Since the war, Oswald's been really nervous with the idea of entering any hospital. And me. I've got my own issues. Can you speak about them? Rats, sir. Even seeing one, they turn me. Just want to run. It's that fear that stopped me from going after Oswald when he left. Hmm. Pembroke Hospital. You are always welcome at the Pembroke Hospital. As a former officer, I'll be honored to welcome a fellow veteran. I'm not giving up on bringing Oswald back to the hospital. I just need to convince him that he needs some help. Perhaps he needs to reach that decision by himself. Could you speak to him? He doesn't usually listen to doctors, but perhaps because you've been through it, you can talk him round. I already did. Tell me about the war. What can you tell me about the war, I think I did. Mr. Blight? If you want to speak about it, of course. War was... Well, you know, sir. The stench of death everywhere. Your mates lying bleeding in the mud. Just praying to make it through and get home. Bloody nightmare. You knew Oswald before? Did you know Oswald Thatcher before the war? No. We met in the battlefield. I think we were in the same boat to France. We've stuck together ever since. Um, I fought in France too. I fought in France too. I served as a field surgeon. But it was not uncommon to repel an assault, especially at night. Yeah. The first time I was wounded, I had to protect the infirmary from hostiles twice hmm interesting let's see here about his trauma you and Oswald were buried alive during the war tell me about it yeah it was last summer a shell hit our trench and we were buried for a week Oswald seems more traumatized Oswald seemed far more traumatized than you by the event it wasn't the first time it happened to me Surviving it again gave me strength. You believe that? How did you survive? How did you survive for a week? Luckily for us, there were rations and water in the tunnel. It was an outpost, see. Since then, Oswald's not keen on being inside for too long. I see. Your phobia of rats. What caused your phobia of rats, Newton? It happened last year following an artillery attack. 
I was trapped for two days in a hole under two dead soldiers. And there were rats. Go on. Oh. They started eating me as soon as I dozed. Gnawing at my ears, my fingers, lips. I couldn't move. I couldn't call for help. I see. No, you don't. You have no idea what it is to wake up buried under bodies. <laughs> Fucking vermin eating your flesh. Oswald. He actually does. <laughs> he found me and saved me. I see. How do you feel about Oswald Thatcher? How do you feel about Oswald Thatcher? You are more than friends, aren't you? I, I love him. I love Oswald. We knew we wouldn't survive the war without each other. But I am terrified, Doctor. What frightens you so much? What people find out. Oswald says I'm ashamed, but it ain't that. It's more, well, you know, I never thought I'd love a man. Oh. Enjoy it. Enjoy your love. And enjoy life as long as you can, Mr. Blight. Don't let anyone tell you who you should love or how you should love them. I appreciate your kind words, sir. But it ain't that easy. It's all so new to me. Hmm. Goodbye, Mr. Blight. Take care of yourself. Hey, you're talking to yourself. Good evening. Evening, Dr. Reed. Let's see here. I got one more. About Newton's feelings. Newton is conflicted about his feelings towards you. Would you like to talk about it, Oswald? It makes me sad and angry. It feels like the beautiful thing we have is somehow tainted. It hurts to see him so lost. His love for you is genuine. I'm certain he wasn't lying to me when he expressed his feelings for you. Newton still has to accept it, knowing he'll be seen as a queer, a fairy. Less than a man in those simple-minded bigot's eyes. Though he's more of a man than they'll ever be, so fuck them all. Okay. Goodbye, Mr. Thatcher. Try to take care of yourself. Alright, so that's finished. I want to get in there. Man, wasn't I able to get in here before? No, probably not. I don't know. All right, I guess we gotta go to the docks. So we'll start heading that direction. So off we go. Where we end up, nobody knows. Uh, isn't there going to be a skull up here somewhere? Ah, yes. Zed he is. Hey, buddy. Give me that blood. All that blood. Cool. I gotta go over there. Let's do it. Boop. On me way. been out here before? Yeah, I have. I've been out here before. Well, I think I'm going to leave the video here. So, uh, until next time, have a good day and goodbye. <laughs>